One pound of buffalo, bison, burger, and also one pound of beef burger, grass fed. Both of them. So what you do is you brown them up along with chopped onions. And while this is browning, I'm dicing up the pepper, pepper, bell pepper. Have that ready to put in. I like to get everything done chopped up ready to go, then I can put it into the crock pot. At the end, we're going to put this on uh, this, uh, four to five hours cook or uh, low speed, seven or eight. I'm a little bit of a hurry here. I'm going to find a busy schedule today. Get some slow to shuffle to it. So, we will come back at the next phase. All right, we're now ready to add the, the meat and the beans into the crock pot, initial stage of the crock pot. So I have the, the meat and the diced onion. You gotta drain it first. Okay, so I put that in the crock pot. That goes in. Here's your base. Very nice. Here's your base. And the pinto beans and the black beans which have also been uh, one can each, 15 ounce, which have also been drained. So we're gonna put those in also. And then after that will be the spices and so forth. That's better. Now we put the beans in. Mix, a little bit of a mix here. And then, we'll let this sit for a while. It's got to, uh, adapt itself to the pot. These beans have been living in a can for a long time. And you put them in the pot, they're all, well, where are we now? So you gotta <laughs> let them adapt before you put the spices in, because then you'll, you'll just confuse them so badly that it's gonna affect the flavor. I've just completed crushing up two garlic cloves and uh, fresh garlic, the only kind. And that will be added right into the crock pot to be mixed up later or mixed up. That will fill through. Now, I have my bell pepper crushed. I will add that also. There we go. And we have to get ready to put the uh, tomato in, then a few balanced uh, spices afterwards. All right, jalapeno pepper. We're gonna put one of those in here because some of the customers here don't like it too spicy. Uh, when to get some of the seeds out, the seeds can be kind of lethal. It's uh, a little too much for the faint of heart. Now, we'll dice those up so that they're not to be seen, not to be found. And we add those in with, and I pre-prepared here, uh, chili pepper, a uh, tablespoon of ch chili pepper, a uh, teaspoon of ground cumin, and a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, so I'm gonna put that in. And kosher salt to taste. We don't have any kosher salt in the house. So we're gonna use Mediterranean sea salt. That's Mediterranean sure as they do splash on Israel. So we'll use those, That this particular salt. And I'll put a little bit in now. And as we go on, I'll probably do a little adding. Make sure we have it all. And that completes the ingredients. The rest we leave to the cook, cooking uh, and the watching. That completes the solid ingredients. I have forgotten about the tomato. Okay. All right, I've already added a can of diced tomatoes, 250 an ounce cans. We put those in. 
there's your moisture and obviously your flavor. I prefer to use Hunt's products. Not that I'm giving them a free plug, but I think they do a better tomato product than the other company. And now we we'll pretty well have all the ingredients in here. And in four to five hours, we're gonna have a delicious chili. Now, just to uh, summarize, you start out with two pounds of ground beef. Uh, you can either use beef or bison, as we do. And uh, chopped onions. That comes first because you have to brown it up in the sa saucepan with the beef. And then you, you do your peppers and your, uh, your garlic cloves, you crush that. And uh, it's uh, one and a half cups of chopped onions, two cans of uh, diced tomato, uh, two cans of beans, you got a choice of beans, black beans, pinto beans, or uh, what's the other bean? Uh, I can't think of it right now. Kidney. Kidney beans. And also uh, you got your green pepper, you got two cloves of garlic, I already mentioned that, two tablespoons of chili powder, uh, organic, we found, it, mm -hmm. we found an organic version uh, made by McCormick. And you got your ground cumin, that's a teaspoon, and your, your teaspoon, of course, your salt to taste. And then you, uh, you cook this on high for uh, four to five hours or on low seven to, to nine hours and a little bit of jalapeno pepper don't forget about that 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 depends upon how hot you want it and that is it uh, we'll uh, see how it is when it's uh, completed we take our first taste before eating uh, the chili you, you got to prepare the uh, condiments to put it on top so what you need is a nice cheddar cheese uh, we don't have the orange cheddar, we have the white, and I think one is as good as the other. And don't buy it in a bag all shredded out. Buy yourself a block of cheese and shred it yourself. Much, much fresher and definitely is not gonna have any uh, cellulose in it. We're gonna put it into the bowls. It's been sitting on uh, my handmade uh, Trivet, which is made out of uh, wine corks, uh, and then we'll be putting it uh, into the bowls right now, and then put the garnish on. This is the, the way Nancy likes to have the chili: uh, some uh, shredded uh, cheddar cheese and a little bit of sour cream, and uh, like uh, as a tip. Now myself, I like to have the cheese, very nice, and uh, I like crackers. You can either use oyster crackers, which I'm not going to do right now, or uh, uh, your basic saltine. Put that on there, makes a nice garnish, and a little dab of whipped cream instead of sour cream. No, oh, this is really sour cream. I wonder what whipped cream would taste like. And we have ourselves what I would consider a very good chili. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs>